Hello, everybody. Today is Friday, June 17th. It's 4.14. The futures market is just is going to close in just a few seconds here. Uh, I want to bring over my computer clock. You can see it's uh, June 17th, and the futures market's just closed just now. It was an average day for the auto trader today, except there were a few solid standouts. Before I go any further, first the required disclaimer. Okay, first up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 30 tick. This had a single trade today that hit its profit goal of 2000. And we can see uh, our prof our daily goal of 2000 and a loss limit of 1500. Quite a fantastic trade here. Uh, going short just shortly after the regular session open right at 930 so this is about as good as it gets for an entry into the regular session and then exiting the trade a couple of ticks off the day low so pretty phenomenal trade actually this is trading two contracts on the NASDAQ futures Okay, next up is the crude oil on the Superenco 10 tick, and this had a single trade that was good for 890 on two contracts. Next up is the E mini SP on the Superenco 4 tick. This is the one with a thousand dollar goal and starts trading at the session open. This one hit its goal for the day trading two contracts. Okay, next up is the crude oil on a uni Renko chart, and the daily goal on this, I believe, is 1,000, and this one hit its goal as well. Okay, next up is the bonds on the Super Renko 2 tick. This managed to do 500. It had quite a few trades, and because it doesn't have a short profit target, we had some um, kind of neutral action here, but each one of these trades had a few ticks profit in it, more like five to seven ticks, but our trade management on this chart is only dictating uh, looking for 20 ticks on the first contract. In any case, uh, $500 for the day is not bad. Okay, this is an example of the higher time frame filter in the auto trader, and this is the uh, uh, E-mini S&P on a Super Renko chart, and it looks like there was just a single trade here, which was good for 475. So uh, pretty good. 475 in the E-mini S&P is 38 ticks. So. Uh, actually a pretty good trade all things considered and only one trade for the day we've seen this chart quite a bit the e-mini S&P on a Super Inco 12 tick this did 325 for the day there was a little bit more in the trade had you got out up here another four points actually but it closed just on a single trade here and still did 325 for the day that's it for today's video. If you would like to find out more about the BWT Precision Auto Trader, please visit our website or feel free to contact us at systems at bluewavetrading.com. Thanks for watching today.